Here is a pencil sketch of a ripped Simon the Chipmunk breaking into my house. A nod to the time Ocean Rat Vivo accidentally airdropped this to a girl in their class. I'm showing you this largely to demonstrate that whenever I check my emails or Twitter or Discord server, I never know what I'm going to find. Will it be an Omegle superhero, either drawn or 3D printed? A hybrid animal, perhaps, like these ant-sized horses from Peregrine Ash? From my Would You Rather video, Tommy Bones drew themselves coughing up cold fried eggs, and the fly that would bother you by going, Oi mate, zip of that drink mate, please mate, little sip. When this drunk person Google searched whether clams were happy, I bet they didn't expect that one day that search would be drawn. And a similar story when Dreaming Pichu recounted their fear of the garbled local ice cream truck. I know I never expected to receive this sort of beautiful renaissance hand portrait from the scrappy video of me super gluing a plastic cup of wine to my finger two months ago. But what I'm inundated with currently, understandably, are art pieces depicting the 1998 toy from Tiger Electronics, Furbies, usually in states of either decomposition or lust. And then there's Ace of Seven Vultures, who drew both of those. I'm rattling through these ones quite quickly, simply as they've already featured in past videos, and you're probably keen to feast your eyes on some new illustrations of these little eye-swivelling bastards, such as this guilty-looking beast from Lemon Truck, who wrote simply in their email, this one probably killed a child, this weird looking pleb head from Jake, and this intensely psychedelic Furby experience from Justin. Art of Grank even made one in Minecraft. What I particularly enjoyed seeing across your drawings was the duality of these monsters. How a poor unsuspecting soul might think that they're quite cute, until turned on. Some of you drew Furbies which looked suspiciously adorable. Such as this Kirby Furby from Keyboard Draws. And this from Shimoka, a right lovable scamp, if you gloss over the fact that obviously in the background it's just started a huge fire. But of course we know beneath that fluffy exterior beats the battery powered heart of a lunatic. One that watches you while you're sleeping and screams when you're awake. This was very well demonstrated by this incredible comic from Ethan, where our protagonist is awoken by mysterious <laughs> Only to find it's not a chuckling house invader, but much, much worse. I got Furbies with slithering tongues, many-faced Hydra-style Furby creatures, and this from Nuclear Duck 13, whose Furby reminded me of that frilled dinosaur that spits goo in Jurassic Park 1. <laughs> This artist also discovered this about Furbies. Your Furby may cry and act sick while you are flipping it. Don't take pity on it. Keep flipping it. Crazy Pink Werewolf 1 illustrated some of the grotesquely modified Furbies. And Yeet Hitter drew a long Furby being brought down by the powerful jaws of my cat Bamboo. <laughs> For I think the first time in one of these artwork videos, I found that I too had been illustrated, which was very kind of you all. Draw Andreas took this standoff image and transformed it into this unbelievable sketch. I was drawn a lot, lot cuter than I am, a lot cooler than I am, and also the scruffy 31 year old idiot filled with anxiety and regret that I actually am. In the last Furby video, the one story I pointedly requested be animated involved a Furby, some paint, and eggshells! And you certainly didn't let me down, with over a dozen videos very swiftly put together. Alas, there were really too many, I couldn't feature them all, but here are two in their entirety to give you a flavour. Furby. I put it in paint because I didn't like the colour purple, and now all it does is scream, Eggshells, eggshells, eggshells! I used to have a Furby. I put it in paint because I didn't like the colour purple, and now all it does is scream, Eggshells, eggshells, eggshells! However, I did, of course, watch them all and loved them all. They're all great. You can watch them too. Just search the words Furby and Eggshells on YouTube. And if you're super keen to animate something else, then I think this story, which was emailed to me by a David, would work wonderfully well. I had a Furby back in 2012, and one day I left it outside and it started raining. I forgot I had it out there for a few days, and I was walking around my backyard and I found it. I went to turn it on, and it had a distorted ho 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 voice. And after it was done talking, water leaked out of its eyes. It was so terrifying that I pick up a hammer and beat the crap out of it, only realising that there was spiders hiding in it. I'm still 
terrified to this day. As ever, anything you make, you can either put them straight to YouTube, tweet me, email me, or share it on my new Discord server, born out of my subreddit. I introduced this Discord server earlier in the week, and it was sheer fucking chaos. But the rules have since been tightened, and it is now a very nice place to be indeed. Do check it out. I want to see a drawing or animation of a weeping Furby bleeding spiders. Please do not let me down. Thanks!